Hello, hello there and welcome back to Napalm's newest news and today this episode is about matchmaking changes in naval battles and I did not expect this to come through that soon because when I heard it I thought it would be kind of <clears throat> interesting. So first of all there is the information part and then there is some gameplay on it to just show you what that actually means because the impact on the naval battles is quite significant. Sea battles will become more exciting and more interesting. Now any battles with reduced teams will be supplemented with vessels under AI control with a specific number of participants. Never arcade battles, only sessions with the vehicles of battle rating 3.7 and above up to 16 versus 16 participants. Naval realistic battles up to 12 vs 12 participants. If a 10 vs 10 player battle begins in realistic mode, two free slots on each side will be supplemented with AI vessels. If there are already enough players in combat, AI ships will not participate in the battle. Okay, um, that is now the end of the actual news. What that actually means, I want to clarify and then just judge the entire mess because that's what it is so yeah i think a little bit of gameplay thank you so what that actually means is gaijin tries to introduce bots into naval battles especially at higher battle ratings because apparently the queue times are too long now there is one big thing that i think has to be clarified gaijin again tries to heal a symptom rather than the sickness itself and the sickness is within the design of naval battles so instead of fixing the game mode making it more attractive to get people back that have previously abandoned it and also attract newer players into it they try to do the old compression stuff but compression doesn't work anymore because you cannot possibly let a USS Brooklyn fight an HMS Churchill. Or that's probably the next step because balance. So Gajin now waters down the matchmaker. And in this specific battle, it is in fact a 12 versus 12 slots. So 12 slots per side. But on our team, it is five actual human players and on the enemy team, only four players. That means out of the 24 slots, only nine are filled with players. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's a 5.3 battle, by the way. So I don't know what Gaijin tries to achieve with this. And I doubt that this is somewhat of a short-term solution because the problems that are there are big. And they have been so for quite some time, over years. And Gaijin apparently never bothered to do anything about it. So it's a good old trick that they do in air RP and also in tank RP or in for, for planes and tanks in general. That they just simply... Uh, pile broken stuff upon broken stuff that they never checked and then they just can't really do anything with the repairs because there are not enough employees and uh, the one poor soul that apparently is currently developing naval battles is just uh, he just has no idea what to further do and then brings in bots now let me get this clear bots in general are not a bad idea they can work but they never can replace players and this is the issue at hand so in this battle in this uh, game mode ap apparently um, there are also some ai merchant ships and also some t22s and also one empton as uh, ai units and they are in general a great idea just their execution is done not so well since you can easily shoot them up from the very start and so you're spawn camping the objective from your spawn which is generally a very poor game design idea but hey who am i to judge i'm just playing this game for six years so again 
players voted via their feet. So this was more or less a democratic election forced on the players by Gaijin because Gaijin refused to do anything properly. And that resulted in the players just being fed up with the repair cost, the stupid map design, then also the balance issues, the game mechanics not working, bugs not getting fixed, and... Uh, there are multiple examples of this sort on my channel, like the chain reaction bug mechanic or mechanic bug, whatever. Then the same goes with the Leander's broken guns, which were a thing for over two weeks after the patch dropped. And that was even a thing on the dev server. And the dev... Uh, just, just cut it. And so, yeah, at the end of the day, same old tricks, right? Again instead of fixing the economy the repair costs the ammunition costs instead of fixing the balance instead of fixing the matchmaker for real and instead of bringing more balance and also more fun into the game both parallel at best they're just trying to get away with the shit by watering down everything with bots and that means every statistic that you have done that you have achieved with a certain ship if you are proud of your kd or whatever you might uh, you you might want to do with your statistics to impress people or to just impress yourself um, that is all now worthless because the bots count as player kills so it doesn't really matter if you kill a cruiser with a destroyer or a patrol boat you just shoot up some uh, ai patrol boats and they count as player kills hooray for that gaijin but they still do not really count as player kills and as we will see then later in the results they count as players but kind of don't count but they count also differently to the existing AI units that are in the background, like the merchant ships and also the, mer uh, the screening warships, if you will. So this is a very, very interesting choice. If Gaijin would make naval battles good, if they would make them enjoyable, the people would come back. And at the end, queue times wouldn't be an issue. If your queue times are fucked up so badly like they have in my experience and uh, yes I have waited uh, 50 minutes in queue multiple times then the core game is riddled with problems that's the that's the problems not the people playing it that is a problem that you brought or Gaijin brought upon themselves so here we are here we are whatever I feared Whatever I thought would be the worst case scenario has actually happened. And I've talked to people, I talked with my clan mates, I've talked with some uh, people on random discords and TeamSpeaks uh, or where I was invited and I've talked to them about naval battles. And the majority of people say the same as I say. It could be awesome, but it's shit as it is. And many, many issues that are there could be just simply better. They could be improved. A lot of the problems could be solved within a day. If somebody with playing experience or with gameplay experience would just talk some of the guys through. A lot of the issues like the balance between the nations, the repair costs and such, they can be changed. And there is for me personally the golden rule. If the repair costs of a certain vehicle are above 10 or let's be generous, let's say 12,000 silver lines of repair cost, something is wrong with the general balance. Maybe repair costs are a very fine tuning if the battle rating is off by less than 0.3 of a battle rating step. Then, yes, then you can fine tune it with a few uh, silver lines here and there, but not going up to up to 17,000 silver lines for a battle rating 3.0 Russian rover patrol boat, and the same now with uh, the cruisers. And that's just the issues are everywhere. But again, Gaijin Trust tries to cover up their own failure in-game design, in-game development, that they have not talked it through, that they are half-heartedly at the development, that they just don't know what to do with this game mode. And this just breaks my heart. I want naval battles to be awesome. I want them to be 
insanely good. I want them to be fun, exciting, and I want to make more videos about them. I want them to be good. And after years and years of development, with patch after patch making it worse, there is no argument anymore viable like, oh, it couldn't be fixed overnight, because he had years upon years to fix it, to make it good, to make it awesome. And instead you made it actively worse. And the next thing, oh, it's still a beta technically. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. After all those years, I, I just, I just can't believe this is still a thing, or they, or, or that Gaijin tries to hide behind this. I'm really shocked. I'm disappointed, and I'm outright angry that it has come so far. And this is what, indirectly or directly, I warned about for such a long time and i had a quite a few number of critics that were saying oh you're exaggerating oh it's not as bad mm, i disagree for this and that reason and everybody can agree or disagree with me everybody is free to have his own opinion but here we are here we are with the shit stinking quite a bit yeah this is what gaijin has achieved congratulations you played yourself this is not what I want to do. Again, I want to make videos about how amazing this could be. I want to present new game modes. I want to present new ships. I want to present new exciting stuff. But it's quite the opposite, is it? Because um, a lot of com content creators have shied away from making videos about naval forces at all. I am one of the very few that actually covers this. And here we are with the shit gone wild fix the problems fix the economy fix the matchmaking for real not with bots fix the map design fix the game mods fix the income fix your game gaijin and people will try it people will play it and people then will pay for it now i think it's time for the results and so apparently for my 14 kills, 14 kills, I got only 4,600 vehicle research points and not even 24,000 silver lines. And the threats of the sea is a warbond mission where I have to kill five players and none of those players actually counted. Not one. So those were really 14 bots. This is not what I'm playing naval battles for. And the result, even despite the many kills, if you will, is quite abysmal. Fix your stuff, Gaijin, please. Just, just let us have some nice things for a change. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please give this video a like. If you did, subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other, hopefully, still on the waves of War Thunder.